And I do feel like English people are like way more friendly than, than Dutch bit, people. A bit more positive, yeah. 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 Like, I would say reaching Europa League final at the moment. Yeah. At the moment, yeah. You know, playing in Europe. Yeah. And reaching the final would be nice. I agree. Hopefully. We all agree on that, right? Yeah. yeah. Today on Football Adania, we have a very special triple interview for you. We've got Brighton's Bart Verbrucke, Joel Veltman and Jan Paul von Hecker here. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Looking forward to this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I've got some questions for three of you to begin with. And um, the first one, does it make a difference that you play with two of the Dutch people at the same club? Yeah, I think it, I think it does. Uh, it makes life easier as well. Um, and it was quite nice in the preseason. We had a game with the three of us. So Bart was playing, JP was playing, and I was playing. It was quite nice. Speak some Dutch at the pitch. But yeah, it makes it a bit easier, yeah. Yeah, it's good. I already knew Bart. Of course, Joe was... I'm now with Joe for a longer time. But, uh, I knew Bart from where I played before. So I was happy that he came here. And yeah, it's nice to have like Dutch people around. You can speak a bit in your own language. So that's nice. And yeah, just help each other outside football. So um, I'm here with two de defenders and a goalkeeper. Um, from the Netherlands and in the Premier League did you know that 14 out of the 19 Dutch players that are here are defenders or goalkeepers obviously the five being midfielders oh, yeah. and strikers All right. yeah what's up with that why is it that there are so many like really good defenders and goalkeepers coming through in the Netherlands because you wouldn't have said that in the past I think you would have said you were famous for your attackers yeah true it's kind of funny because the last couple of years they were saying the defenders in Holland are not that, not that good because we used to play with the ball, we have the, the ball in possession, that kind of thing. So we're not properly training on defending. So, yeah, it's kind of funny that in, I would say, the best league in the world, we have loads of defenders. And keepers. And goalkeepers. No, <laughs> of defending the goal, right? I think it's because in Holland, every, everybody in the youth is, is trying to play out from the back, you know? So I yeah. think if you look at the defenders who are in the league now, uh, those defenders, they are all comfortable with the ball on their feet. Um, goalies as well. I think if you look at um, Fleck and he likes the ball on his feet and I do as well. So maybe it's a culture in Holland which uh, which suits the Premier League nowadays. So maybe that's the reason. That's bad. And better English. <laughs> so what are the kind of targets for your club this season? What are the targets of Brighton? I mean, how serious are you about Europe? Um, Premier League, you know, sixth last season was incredible. Can you do it again? What's the feeling amongst you guys? No, as you said, we had a really good season and because of that good season, we have Europe now. And I think everyone in the club, every player, every staff member, every fan is looking forward to uh, Europe. And yeah, hopefully we can do better than last season in the league and have a great tour in Europe. That's what the aim is. But it's quite early still in the season. So let's see how, how the start is and then uh, we'll see. But everyone is really hungry to even get better than last season. What do you say about the influence of your manager, Roberto Di Zerbi, then? I mean, he's got so many plaudits. People in England are raving about him. Um, could you say about how well he's done? How did he turn you into a side that finished sixth last season? Well, what's your first impression? You can tell that and then I will, I will add something. Yeah, no, I think it's a, it's a manager who has a really clear idea of, of football. He really has his own idea. And I think from a distance, I saw all the players like really gravitating to that last year and, and it worked out really well. I think if you saw how they dominated opponents and how they dominated games, it was really nice to watch. And I think um, if you have the players and the manager and all the staff members on the same side with their uh, noses pointing the same direction, then you have a good thing going on. And I feel that now in my first two months and I think I saw that last year. Yeah, I agree. We had, of course, obviously last year we had Gray in the first, I think, five games was a good start as well. Uh, obviously, yeah, we went to Chelsea and then uh, Roberto came. And just, yeah, what, what um, Bart was saying, just he put his own details, the, the way of play, um, uh, put it in, into the system. And in the beginning, it was a bit crazy. We all thought, well, like, what are we doing? No chance we, we will make it, like playing possession in our own box. But if uh, what Bart says, like everybody's facing the same, yeah, everybody's on the same page then you have lots of big big games you can play and that's why we had lots of big results as well last year 
So how are we going to see a Dutch trio start lots of games this season then? It's really good that we've got the three of you that are coming into contention for the starting lots of games. I mean, JP started a game at the weekend. That brings me nicely to the individual questions now. So I want to start with you, Bart, um, the new sign-in. You, you're, tw- you're 20 now, 21 tomorrow, um, I've seen online. And um, yes. I don't think you've come to Brighton to be the, the second choice goalkeeper, have you? You had a brilliant season with Anderlecht to come to England. Um, you've got a pretty stiff competition with Jason Steele. But what, what, why have you been brought to the club? Have you been brought to, to being first choice this season? Or does Zerbi kind of had a talk with you and said you're more for the future? Um, how does it look for you? No, I think like JP just said, you know, it's our first um, first year in Europe. And I think if you look at the squad, I think on every position we have multiple players who can start a game. And that's what he wanted to create in the goalkeeper position as well. So, um, of course, you know, when you go, uh, go into the biggest league of the world, you, you'll you have competition. And and also for goalies, that's that's the way it works. So um, in every position, we have uh, more players who can who can start a game and who can decide a game. And, it's the same in uh, same in the goalkeeper position position now. So, yeah, just have to compete and just have to get better every day, and then um, then we'll see who we play. So. Yeah, I kind of expect the answer from you that actually you need a very big squad. A lot of you should be able to start lots of games for the club. But I asked you that because um, last season you were even calling up to an Everland senior squad, and I think. Some English-speaking fans, they already want to see you being the number one for the Netherlands. Have you talked with Koeman about the September international games or the future in general? No, not really, to be honest. I spoke a little bit with him about the, about the transfer, but not so much about the future of, uh, of the national team. You know, I think always national team is a result of the things you do in your club. Um, so, yeah, I think, like I just said, you just need to make sure that you're improving every day and reach the highest level you can. And when you get to play the games, you have to prove yourself and then the the national team coach will see that as well and hopefully let you play games there as well. Mate, your English is proper good, man. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm focusing. Yeah. <laughs> you said that you spoke with Koeman about the transfer. What, what did he have to say about it? Yeah, I just asked him like quickly what, what he always tried to think about when he was about to make a transfer and, and, and he told me what, what he used to do back in the days when he was playing football and what he thinks that that's important if you if you want to make a move. So, yeah, it was a nice chat. I think it's always good to to speak to people who have a lot of experience, and and that's what I did. And at the end, I made the decision to come here, and, and I'm still happy to be here. Nice one. Um, and I hope, yeah, for the Netherlands' sake, that we see you come through. You play lots, lots of games. So, JP, let's move on to you. And I'm bright in the fans. You think you've come on a lot during preseason. Um, had a good game against Luton. Um, there's a lot of buzz online for you. Can you say what you can put down this like sudden improvement down to? What is it that's changed for you? Yeah, I think it's also games in the Premier League and also the new manager. Like how we, we trained the last nine months when he was in till now. I think it's a year now. And just every day get better and get more game time. That's I also that's also a big thing for everyone, I think, to get better. And a good preseason. I feel really fit and hundred percent ready to play. And I think against Luton, we did well. I did well, and yeah, it's a good first start for myself. It's really good, and I think a lot of Brighton fans now want to see you play more games. Um, you've played a lot with uh, Head and Vane in the Eredivisie, Blackburn in the Championship, and now the Premier League. Can you tell us about the differences between those leagues? And of course, um, Joel, you might also be able to come in on that as well, being able to play in the Eredivisie in the Premier League. What are those big differences? Yeah, there's big difference to be honest. Um, yeah, I played for Irvine, so it's mid-table in Holland. So Joe played for Ajax. It's like top of the league. He's also uh, playing Europe, so that's also a, difference, a big difference, of course. But I think in Holland, to be honest, everyone wants to play from the back. Like we do, but we do it more in detail. And yeah, Championship is way more physical than the Dutch league. But I think quality-wise, you cannot compare it to the Premier League. The Premier League have everything. And that's why everyone wants to play in the Premier League, I think. Yeah, especially like the lower teams in the league. If you look at Holland, yeah, they're, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say struggling, but they have to take care of their money, you know, and that kind of thing. But in England, that's how it is sometimes as well. You know, financial, there are much more opportunities, much more options. So the players will be better as well. So 
let's say a lower team in uh, in the Premier League will buy a striker for like 30, 40 million, maybe, you know, that's, you won't see that in Holland. That's like oh, even crazy for Ajax already 30, 40, 40 million, but in, in the Premier League that's happening. And yeah, that's what made the level even higher. So yeah, you can expect every game, every, uh, could be like a final for you. So I would, yeah, I agree with JP. That's, that's a big difference. I want to ask a bit of fun. Um, where would Brighton be if they were in the Eredivisie? First. Yeah. I think so. I've not played in Holland, but I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah, true. You never played in Holland, yeah? Never played in Holland, no. That's crazy. No, I think it's always difficult to compare. Yeah. And it's easy to say when you play in another league and talking about the Eredivisie, that's like a less quality league than the Premier League. Of course, everyone can see that. And it's easy for us to say we will be first, but I think if you can be sixth in the Premier League, you can also be top of the league in the ADVC. That's what I think. But yeah, of course, you have also some strong teams in uh, in the ADVC now. Yeah, the ADVC is a real growing league, isn't it? Um, one of the best in Europe. It's growing, growing. I will move on now to talking to Joel. So I'd like to ask you whether you're looking back to get back into that Netherlands squad. I mean, it's been... Nine years you've been in and out. You've got lots of Netherlands caps, and um, well, you've done so well with Brighton, haven't you? So, is it about time you come back? Uh, well, never say never, right? Uh, I'm always the door is always open. I would say, but yeah, th th then the bonds coach needs to give you a call and say, hey, uh, please come over. And that's not happened for the last two years, maybe three years. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it's been a while. But the only thing I can do what Bot says, like the results what you're doing for your club will eventually maybe result in like a call up from the for the national team so that's the only thing i can do work hard here show where what i'm capable of uh, at brighton and then maybe maybe in the future yeah yeah never say never and on the form you're, you're on you know you could easily be called back in so i just want to finish the few minutes guys quick fire questions jump in don't be shy what do you love about brighton as a place to live the weather Car wash every day because of the seagulls. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a nice place, to be honest. You, yeah. Nice golf in, clubs. Also. Yeah. I live on up north and I think Brighton is really nice to live. People are really nice, so yeah. What about the differences between English and Dutch culture? Good one. Not Very good one. Food, maybe. Is that yeah. culture? Yeah, that's cool for sure. It's culture. And I do feel like English people are like way more friendly than, than Dutch bit, people. A bit more positive, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because when you walk on the street and you, you try to speak to somebody you don't know, they will always be so friendly yeah. and polite and yeah, like agree. really showing interest. And I think in Holland it's a bit bit less. Still friendly people, but a bit more less than here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Where I'm from, they're all friendly. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, JP. Favorite moment at Brighton? Mm, yeah, I think mm. Europe. Reaching Europe, yeah. yeah. And then specific game or moment? Specific game. Yeah, but that's yeah. like personal. But you mean for the club or for just personal? for your personal? Yeah. City game or something? City game. Was yeah, nice personal was city game for me. Yeah. For the club, and then we maybe. got Europe as well. That was nice. Maybe menu at home for the team. Yeah, yeah. that was also awesome. nice with the penalty uh, yeah. last minute. Yeah, that was a nice game. Yeah. Yeah. And yours? Personal? Not an United game, I didn't play. No. Uh, Next to me. <laughs> yeah, I was injured. Yeah. Right. Um, maybe the last game, not of last year, but the year before, when we uh, were winning against West Ham, last game of the season as well. And then after the game, we had like goodbyes with the family on the pitch and everything. I scored that, that game as well. So it was nice a moment for me. Lovely. And last question, biggest dream at Brighton? I would say reaching Europa League final at the moment. Yeah. At the moment, yeah. You know? Playing in Europe yeah. and reaching the final would be nice. I agree. Hopefully. We all agree on that, right? Yeah. yeah. Big ambitions, guys. That is so good to hear. Obviously, you're going to take the Europa League very seriously this season. And um, well, we want to see the three of you start together, Dutch trio, um, representing I the agree. Netherlands. So, yeah. <laughs> we need to talk to Roberto De Zerba, don't we? We need to make sure he does. Um, thank you, the <laughs> yeah. three of you, for, for joining me. And yeah, it's been a good chat. Um, I hope you had a 
good rest of your day. I really, really hope you have a great season together. And um, yeah. All, all okay. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. Thank you. Cheers, three of you. Yep. Bye. Thank bye. You. Bye. 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 bye.